Hey guys, how are you? This is Jim Prusak. I'm a licensed physical therapist here at The Pain PT. And today we're gonna to go over another research study. And I really like to include these studies because it validates the work that I'm doing with people and also adds some legitimacy to this type of mind-body work that it's not some type of airy-fairy work. And it also gives you guys more confidence and evidence to know what you need to do to start to get better. So what we're gonna to do today is go over a study here um, that was published in 2016. I'm gonna link the study here for you guys. It was in the journal Pain, which is a very good journal. And it was titled Meta-Analytic Evidence for Decreased Heart Rate Variability in Chronic Pain Implicating Parasympathetic Nervous System Dysregulation. Now, this is a great study because this study is looking at what's called our autonomic nervous system. And I've talked about this before with you guys, that that fight flight system, sympathetic nervous system is at the heart of chronic pain. This is your peripheral nervous system and it connects to your central nervous system, which is your brain. I talk a lot about the brain centers. They're wired up to this peripheral nervous system and they control this peripheral nervous system or this autonomic nervous system. Now, what they found in the study, this again was a review study. So they looked at many, many studies, which is the best because they clump in data from multiple studies, not just one individual study. And they're looking to pull out the best studies that have the best um, scientific methods and they did a really good job in their, in their research. So they reviewed the literature and they looked at over 17,000 studies. That's a heck of a lot of studies. And they looked, they boiled it down to, I think, 26 moderate to high quality studies. Okay, so they want the best ones to pull the data from that. And then they lump the data together and come up with an overall sort of um, understanding or message from the data. So what they found was this. They found that pulled results from this meta-analysis reflected a consistent moderate to large effect of decreased high frequency heart rate variability and chronic pain, implicating a decrease in parasympathetic activation. Now, the reason why this is so important is because it validates what we already know, that people are in fight or flight with chronic pain. And so there was a very moderate to large effect of people not being able to get down into what we, this parasympathetic rest and digest state. This is where we need to go, guys. We need to get your nervous system regulated into a lower state. We also know with the data that people with anxiety and depression uh, and worry and also difficulty with emotion, regulating their emotions, also have disrupted heart rate variability, meaning they're in the same boat as chronic pain. It's all the same stuff, meaning that we're not getting into this rest and digest state and being able to stay there. A lot of people are, are up here in a very high level fight or flight state, living in that state throughout the day. Okay, this is a state of feeling restless, racing mind, feeling anxious, worried, depressed, having a lot of symptoms, inability to just be calm and still, not feeling settled, not feeling relaxed, completely content. Um, all these things, agitated, irritated, frustrated, scared, high level emotions, all these things are part of the sympathetic fight or flight response. And we really have to learn to drop out of that. And this is one of the things I really work with people on even more now than ever with the people I work with is how to get your nervous system regulated and move down what I call this nervous system scale, okay? We talk about a pain scale a lot of times for people, but I like to look at this as a nervous system scale. Where are you on your scale of your nervous system? Zero to five being sort of parasympathetic, rest, rest and digest state, relaxed, calm, settled, feeling good, no problems, no stress, low stress. And the other state being from six to 10, your sympathetic fight or flight state like we mentioned. Where do you, where are you on your scale? Now this nervous system scale changes all the time through the day, it's a real time nervous system scale. But where are you right now? 
And where are you living most of the time? What is your resting state? Are you up into this sort of higher level sympathetic fight or flight state most of the time? Or are you down here pretty chilled out, rested, calm, settled, feeling pretty good, not much stress? Because this is a real indication of that autonomic nervous system in yourself. And the more you can get in touch with yourself and your autonomic nervous system, the more you have a chance to change it and influence, influence it. So I really want you guys to understand and know that this autonomic nervous system is a massive piece of the puzzle for chronic pain and chronic disorders because the studies are showing that it is this fight or flight sympathetic state that's the culprit. And that's controlled by your brain but we can access this autonomic nervous system and learn to work with it to bring our level down and start to operate from this resting and digesting state. Now here's the thing, when you put your nervous system into that resting state by learning how to relax it, it starts naturally digesting all the stress chemicals and toxins and inflammation and pain in your body starts calming things down by the nature of just getting it into that state we know these two states work in opposite ways that sympathetic state is creating chemical changes in your body that do a number of different things and that's why you can have so many different symptoms is because that autonomic nervous system controls every other system or has direct connections to all your organs to your cardiovascular system, your musculoskeletal system, which is pain, it has connections to your gastrointestinal system, it has connections to your pulmonary system, cardiovascular system, which I mentioned, immune system. Every system in your body is wired up to this autonomic nervous system. And now this system works behind the scenes, right? It's called the automatic system. It controls your heart rate, controls your breathing, controls your digestion. But we actually can get access to it. So there are ways to do that and, and it's important to find out how to do that and be able to, to know where you are so you can change your system and it feels different in you when you are shifting your nervous system down. And you guys know this, when you feel relaxed, settled, calm, a little more peaceful, you're in that parasympathetic state. If you're feeling anxious, frantic, racing mind, rushing around, worried about this, you're in this the other level you're in that sympathetic fight or flight you don't want to be there for so long because what happens is you're actually creating stress chemicals unknowingly or maybe knowingly automatically that's what that system does cortisol adrenaline high level inflammatory chemicals that aren't going to let you heal you can't very heal very well when you're in a fight or flight sympathetic state again that's what they're finding in the research so we got to find ways to get out of it Okay, you guys can learn to get out of the state, settle your nervous system, and then that system will do the work for you for healing. You don't do it yourself. That system does it automatically. It knows what to do. It's part of its job. Our job is to get it into that state and stay there. Okay, and a lot of ways to do that is what we've been talking about here on my videos. I work with people as well to identify specifically for them what are the things that are keeping you stuck in that fight or flight state? And how can we get you down and out of it and stay out of it for longer periods of time? Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful. Again, this is the autonomic nervous system piece. It's a, it's a big piece. It's critical in chronic pain and chronic health disorders that we need to address it. Just as much as you need to address the central nervous system, which is the brain, we got to address this peripheral nervous system, which is the autonomic nervous system. Okay, write your comments, questions, and I'll talk to you guys next time.